mentioned a couple of coaches uh, that Hugh McCauley, Dave Shannon, you know, and of course, you know, Steve Highway is you know, pioneer, shall we say, around the, the academy kind of coaching system. You know, he'd been doing it for many, many years. You know, academies, Liverpool Academy, you know, in particular was the first academy. Uh, before the days of the academies, it was all centred with excellence. Just on those coaches alone, you know, Huey, Dave, Stevie, you know, what influence did they have on you? Uh, not so much as a player, Stephen, but also, a, you know, as a, you know, a kid, a young adult, um, you know, what, you know, how inspiration, uh, inspirational were them coaches to yourself? Well, I mean, they were everything. Um, they were the people that knew your character inside out. They knew when you were having a bad day. They knew when you were uh, being cocky, being arrogant, that you needed to bring them back down a peg or two. That's what their skill was. Something when we look at coaches, we always think, will he improve me as a player? Will he make me better? Will that happen? But there's such, there's so much more to coaching. There's understanding how people work, what makes them tick, how to bring the best out of them, and, and what does that. They were the they were the best at it. Um, Dave Shannon was probably um, the one for me who made me realise how hard I'd have to work uh, once I. So fast forward in a bit when I'd I'd gone into the academy, I broke my leg. Um, two or three times and it was just the worst situation for me and Dave pretty much gave up his life for I don't know probably six week seven week period where he wouldn't even see his wife he'd come back to me and it, it, it'd be right we're training tonight we're, we're staying in later because I need to get your confidence back up and I, I remember doing one-on-one -on -one sessions with Dave in the evening um, and just trying to build that confidence up in me. And he'd be having a go at me about certain things. And then other days he knew that I was down and he'd bring the best out of me. And um, that belief that he showed in me gave me extra drive to, to get back fit, to, to become a, a professional player. Because it showed to me how committed he was to me and how committed he was to the game and how committed I needed to be to the game and to the profession as well. Um, Steve Highway was always the, per the, the coach or the person who would test your personality. He'd test whether you wanted it um, and whether you had it in you to fight back and um, whether you respected people, how you were brought up. Um, the, the life skills he gave me were, in were incredible and still try and use them to this day. Uh, still try and speak to them, ask for advice as and when I can, um, because they were huge in, in influences in my career. Um, Hugh McCauley was a little bit different for me, as in when I first broke through, he was more looking after the older ages. Um, and then I spent so long out of the game that I didn't get to work with Huey that much. But what I did, when I did work with Huey, it was the, the, the love and passion that he had for the game just built into his coaching. I loved training every day when Huey was taking the sessions. Uh, he was moved up to uh, the first team squad when I was in and around it. And it was great to get a familiar face because when I wasn't playing or the first team players who weren't used at the weekend would often train on a Sunday or um, when they needed extra work, Huey was the person to, to train them. And he always made you smile going into it. He knew you didn't want to do it. He knew it was a tough period for you, but the way he pick you up and make you feel better about them sessions and put put a lot of work into them to make them fun was uh, was was a quality attribute that uh, can often go unnoticed. You know, what? it's it's just brilliant listening to all the the different kind of outcomes and the different kind of personal personalities within the coaches that have kind of balance that you know met your needs. You know, from a, from a player through kind of personality kind of shaping. And like your etiquette about yourself and also with you know someone like Dave who's trying to instill the confidence you know to come back from those you know let's just say you know career ending injuries in which they could have easily been for yourself Stephen when you talk about then that kind of situation with Dave just kind of spending that extra time with you to do the, the self-confidence building getting you back on the pitch getting your, your, your attributes back up there and so on 
at the time, how was that? Because I'm sure you're telling yourself, well, you know, you, you might have a lot of doubts. You've just come back from these, you know, major uh, injuries and so on. But now, like, kind of looking back, just how influential that those moments were uh, to you and, and kind of what it's done for your career as, as a whole. You know, that's, that's pretty special when, when, you, when you talk about it and when you think back. Yeah, if I hadn't have had the coaches that I had at Liverpool, I don't know whether I'd have made it. I, I really don't. Um, there was little things that happened. Um, so even when I broke my leg, um, the second time I had an operation, I had a steel rod inserted into the leg. And my leg was a mess before the operation. Um, I was due to sign a professional contract um, sort of two days before. Uh, so when I played the game on the Saturday and I broke my leg, I was due to sign my professional contract on the Monday after the game. So I'm lying in the hospital bed thinking, career's over, I'm not going to play again. Surgeon comes in and said, your leg's a mess, I can't guarantee you're going to play football again. So uh, I wake up after the operation, the, the surgeon comes in and he says, I've, I've given myself a 10 out of 10 on your operation. He shows me the before x-ray and the after x-ray. And even I couldn't believe how he'd done it. And he said, uh, it's the best job I could, uh, I've ever done, really. The best repair. The following day, Steve Highway comes in with Rick Parry, who was chief exec at the time, and put the contract on the table and wow. said, right, there's your professional contract. There's three years. We believe that you're going to get back to where you were. And that's, that's what we expect you to do. So straight away, I'm sitting in my bed thinking, brilliant. Like, that is exactly everything I need to hear. So again, it was, and I wasn't on mega money. It wasn't one of these contracts that was hundreds of thousands a week or whatever. It was, I think it was a couple of hundred quid a week or whatever it might have been. But it wasn't that to me. It wasn't about the money. It was about the, the contract and the belief in me. It yeah. was about the the words of we think we know you'll get back to where you were. We believe that you will make a, a living out of the game, whether that be at Liverpool or somewhere else. And for me, that was everything. Um, those nights I spent training with Dave alone. Um, when you look back at them, if someone if I, if I'd have gone to someone and said, "Can you train me for an hour every evening?" or an hour and a half, I need to work on this, my confidence is low, it's not working. And they'd have turned around and said no. Well, I wouldn't have got back to where I wanted to be as quick as I wanted to be. Um, my belief in the coaches would have diminished, it would have gone down. Would I have believed that I could get back to where I wanted to be? Probably not. So the influence that these guys had on me constantly was, was everything. The other thing that they did really, really well was that, they spoke to the other players about it. So when we went into training and I was fearful of going into tackles and I was worrying about that side of the game, the, the mental side of the game, the other players helped me along with that because they'd been spoken to by the coaches. I didn't even realise and spoke to them, but it was, listen, you're going to have to tackle them. We know you don't want to because you're fearful something will happen. But again, having the players' support, and but that again came from the coaches passing that on to them. So uh, the influence that the coaches have, I'll never, ever forget that um, to this day. It's just phenomenal. Uh, a lot of people say, well, that's the job. But it is the job to, to a certain extent. But to actually carry it through, to, to, to do the extra time, the extra hours, the extra belief in you, um, that meant so much to me.